Welcome back to From the Floor, I'm Ben Smith. Today we're gonna to take a look at our ES4000 Advanced Controller. So the first thing we're gonna look at doing is adjusting the pressure on your compressor. We're gonna to need to enter the main menu. We're going to scroll over to the regulation setting, modify our unloading pressure, and then modify our loading pressure. We can now back out to the main menu and we're ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is look at how to modify some of the units as well as some of the general settings inside the compressor. We're going to scroll to our settings menu. General. From this menu we can adjust the language, the month, date, and year, the time, the pressure, and the temperature units. One of the other great features on the ES4000 Advance is the weekly timer. The weekly timer gives you the ability to start and stop the compressor, uh, let's say on a Monday morning before everybody comes to work and then shut down on Friday afternoon when everybody's ready to go home. So in order to set your weekly timer, you'll need to go into your main menu. You'll select the weekly timer. Submenu, we'll select our weekly action scheme. So for our example, on Monday, we would like to start the compressor at 6 a.m. Once that's entered, we can save. Now the compressor will start every Monday morning at 6 a.m. In order to stop the compressor on Friday afternoon, we will scroll back out to our weekly schedule, select Friday, now we would like to stop the compressor and we'll set it for 6 p.m. Now we have the compressor starting at 6 a.m. on Monday and stopping at 6 p.m. on Friday. That's been our ES4000 Advanced Controller. Thanks for watching today. We'll see you later.